Here you have an Eshron RS35M power supply, and as you could tell on the left side, I added a digital voltmeter to it. Um, I had originally done this on a non-metered uh, 35S power supply, uh, which didn't have any meters at all for a friend, and I liked it so much I decided to add it. You might ask why I added it since I already had meters, and really, uh, it's so much easier to see. You could see it from across the room. And uh, actually looks pretty good too. Um, this only requires a hole to be drilled. It does not require a rectangular cutout. I will show you the insides of uh, how I ran and how I did the uh, mod. The meter is available on eBay in three different colors. Blue, white, or red. I'm going to turn it on. And this meter is basically a 8 to 16 volt motorcycle voltmeter so if you go on ebay and you google uh motorcycle uh voltmeter just those three words you will come up with several sites that sell these in three different colors they are about ten dollars ridiculously easy to hook up it has double-sided tape already on it so you could sticker it right to the uh, face of the uh, power supply Okay, now you have the inside of the power supply, and I'll show you exactly where. As you can see, there's a small hole right there. And it's just big enough, and I smoothed it out with some sandpaper or a small file, so there was no rough edges. And there's the cable uh, for the uh, power supply. Um, as you could tell, that's pretty much all you have to do. You don't have to do any rectangular cutouts. I ran the cable very neatly through... Uh, the power supply at towards the bottom avoided pretty much any of the boards or the transformers that were in here and then when I got to the um, uh, Outputs I just pretty much soldered them right to the lugs on the outputs as you can see I'm trying to use a flashlight there um, I did them right to the ends and uh, You may need a stronger iron than your typical 25 watt um, You know Weller ten dollar special i used uh you know temperature controlled iron that i use uh typically for repairs and gets pretty hot and that was pretty much it the only other suggestion i make here is this area here i masked this with masking tape or blue painters tape so when i drilled any shavings and when i filed later any shavings would not get inside the uh the power supply uh, I then vacuumed it out before I took the tape off uh, and then after that I blew it out with a compressor like a power tool compressor at about 100 psi or so of air and that was the end of it the um, voltmeter does come with double-sided tape uh, it does turn on at about 8 volts so as soon as 8 volts comes up uh, it turns on and then it goes right to the uh, power supply voltage when you turn it off it'll shut down at 8 volts I think the maximum uh, range for this meter is 16 volts uh, so you won't uh, you won't need any more than that I mean if, if you need any less than 8 volts you're gonna have problems anything more than 16 volts you're probably gonna cook something so here's what happens when I shut it off you'll see it slowly go down in voltage and then right about 8 it shuts off and that's the end of that these meters are about 10 bucks on ebay do a google excuse me an ebay search for uh motorcycle voltmeter there's a lot of vendors that sell them this is probably less than a one hour job and no cutting is involved